Hi, it's me, Katie. Welcome back to Still the Spotlight. Today, I thought it'd be fun to try out some of the most popular 22 fashion trends as seen on all the it girls all over my Pinterest recently and kind of put them to the test. I mean, every man and his dog does dressing like my Pinterest board, but also I've seen a lot on TikTok. Is it cute? Or is the internet lying to me? Um, I'm really bad at remembering TikTok handles. Like when someone pops up, I'm just like, oh, hi, nice to see you again. But hopefully I can find who I'm referencing and link it below. Okay, the first one we're gonna be tackling is the infamous micro mini, specifically the Mew Mew one, I suppose, just because I feel like it perfectly highlights how fickle everyone is when it comes to trends recently. Seemingly everyone was all about this and not even a month later, everyone's like, ugh. I'm so sick of it, it's so overdone. And to be fair, I think that does play into the fact that Mew Mew was seemingly forcing people to wear it in a head to toe look. So everyone did look very uniformed. So this is obviously gonna be what we're basing the entire look around. I thrifted it the other day and just hacked the bottom off. It's obviously not giving as micro mini as the original just because mine is more of like a high to mid waisted, you know, I'm not really, Big fan of that low rise trend, you guys. <laughs> but that's okay, we are adapting, making things work for us. Personally, I prefer it with the sweater rather than like the belt top situation, but we can probably try both. Sadly, I think it's time to say goodbye to my adorable rainbow best slippers. Shout out Savannah, I freaking love them. Since my skirt doesn't have the pockets hanging out the bottom, I'm gonna emulate a similar look with just this shirt peeking out the bottom. This again, I just hacked it off this little cropped button up I'm already wearing. Originally I was planning on this brown belt, one of my favorites at the moment, but I think that with the tones, a gold buckle would look better than silver hardware. Plus they just have more black accessories, so it'll probably be easier to style. I was debating between the loafers and boots, but now that I've tried them on, it's definitely the loafers. Plus that kind of fits in with the Mew Mew aesthetic better anyway. I think maybe it's doing a little bit too much or at least I'd have to like change my hairstyle in some way. I'm not sure. Yeah, the hair up makes a big difference in my opinion. Obviously there is still a lot going on, but you probably expect that already when watching my videos of more of a pile the accessories on rather than pull back. What do we think? Is it cute or was it a lie? I kind of feel like it's both at the same time because it is kind of cute. Like they've kind of won me over, but on the other hand, I feel like it is a lie because are people actually wearing this out and about? Personally, I don't think I would feel comfortable. I'd wear everything and just like change out the skirt for something that I didn't feel so self-conscious in. I did not have high hopes for the matching top. I thought I'll just throw it on off camera. It probably won't work, so we'll just scrap it all together. But I feel like it might be salvageable, so let's give it a try. And this time, I think the boots are gonna work. It's giving more like Ives take on Mimi, which I loved, by the way. And then I think a leather jacket We'll top it all off. Well, okay, yeah, I am pleasantly surprised. Gonna grab a bag though. Damn, okay, am I in like a who wore it better competition with myself? Um, I don't know, which one do you guys prefer? I will admit when it comes to cargos, I've definitely been influenced. Everything else were things I already had in my wardrobe or things that I picked up at the thrift and was like, yeah, that's cool. But cargos, I actually went out of my way to purchase on Depop. This pair you've actually seen me style before because I picked them up last year. I feel like it was quite trendy at the time, the low rise, but still slightly fitted silhouette. However, for 2022, we're definitely seeing a baggier fit. So I am somewhat ashamed to admit that I was influenced to update my pair as well. I only just got these in the mail, but I'm excited to try them because I think that they might suit my preferences better. Since it is a low rise trend already out of my comfort zone, I do prefer something that is gonna be not so tight and like cut into your muffin top, if you know what I'm saying. So this is them on and I think I'm already liking them better. I'll come closer so you can kind of see the drawstring detail. It strangely is only drawstring to like there, which is why it's kind of bunched together, but for some reason, I kind of think that's a look. And I like that even though it has that low rise sort of feature in the front, in the back, they still come up a little bit higher, which is great because I can actually wear them out without being too scared to sit down. Puffer jackets is something I'm still seeing a lot of. So let's throw that on too. I've thrown on these platform Converse just for a little bit of extra height because the proportions were throwing me a little bit. I felt like my legs looked too short. Let's see, what can we do? What can we do? 
I've just got shit everywhere, by the way. That's why I'm looking around. I'm not sure. Is it two S Club 7? I don't know. That's the vibe I'm picking up. Um, I'm also going to be adding these sunglasses because, again, I feel like this is the it girl accessory of the moment. Oh my, okay. Yeah, I definitely look like a five-year-old from the early 2000s in these glasses. I just picked them up from the op shop for $2 yesterday. Maybe just on the head. Um, I don't know. I'm unsure about the bag. I'm unsure about the arm warmers. All of a sudden, I can't accessorize. I mean, it does kind of look like something Bella Hadid would wear though, no? I'm sensing that it might actually be the puffer vest that's throwing me off. Although I like them. Um, All together, it's very much giving like your dad dressed you in the early 2000s, which I don't know. I want to try doing one of those like super cropped sweater shrug sort of switch situations as seen in like Marc Jacobs Heaven collection and stuff. So um, this sweater is a little bit old and ratty. So if it doesn't work out, it's not a huge loss. Mm, I'm just going to go like just under the armpit, I think. And I do realize I will have to stitch it so it doesn't unravel, but I'm gonna do that after filming, okay? We don't we don't have time to muck around. Okay, there you have it. My attempt at a redemption arc, take it or leave it. For me, if I'm feeling too far outside my comfort zone instantly, I'm just gonna gravitate back to black accessories. Helps me grind the look and just feel a lot more confident in what I'm doing. I don't know what it is, but I feel like this one definitely suits me better than the last one. Since we're already kind of on the topic of knitwear, I feel like really fun, creative knits and crochet are still going strong, whether it's through accessories like scarves and hats, especially for the winter time. But I know a lot of you guys are moving into spring summer season now. I still think it's gonna stick around for that. And the sweaters are just gonna have more of an open weave to them. I just thrifted this, which I'm really excited about. It's kind of like a poncho, but if I hold it up where its seam is, it's literally just a giant rectangle and then the head hole isn't actually in the center, which creates for this amazing asymmetrical moment, which also I think is gonna make it more versatile. Recently, I've become such a sucker for wearing blue, so I thought we'd do a little matching moment. It's feeling kind of grandma, but I don't know, since this is halter top style, I thought maybe we could like get one boob out. <laughs> okay, potentially the wrong boob was chosen. <laughs> I think it kind of works. It looks cute from the back as well. I felt like it needed cinching, so I've added this underbust corset moment. So yes, I'm just gonna be bringing more black into the look once again. Plus this arm felt very bare, very exposed. So I'm gonna try out a sleeve. I think this will also complement the asymmetry we have going on quite nicely. I think the only option from here is gonna be boots. Yes, definitely boots. Look, I don't know my centuries or eras or whatever, but the vibe is kind of yussified Game of Thrones. You see what I'm saying, right? The only issue is I kind of need my head cut off, yeah, because I feel like it's ruining the look. I don't know, my hair's always just so drab all the time, so um, how can we fix this? Okay, I think I found it. Um, potentially too much, but also potentially just enough. Hopefully I've warmed you up enough that you are ready to tackle the polarizing skirts over pants debacle. For me personally, I am pro this trend. I mean, I've already got this little all-in-one situation I purchased probably like a year ago. You guys have seen me style it already. I also already styled it in my Bright's lookbook. I did the Pixies inspired fit, which I thought was cute. Actually one of my favorites from the entire video. I'm gonna be using those same pants as my base today. They're just a very simple black fit and flare, which I think is very non-offensive. You know, you don't wanna go for something too crazy when you're already tackling such a bold silhouette. Well, I mean, you can, and many people make that work, but if you're trying to just dip your toes into it, I think this is the safest option. I like the simplicity of just pairing it with a plain black mini skirt. It gives me that Y2K futuristic feel, which is a similar vibe to one of my favorite K fashion brands, Dido Shop. And this shirt is from there, so I have a good feeling it's gonna come together nicely. Look, I don't know why, because I'm pretty sure this is just an image of a truck, but for some reason, my brain thinks it's like, astronaut out of space. <laughs> so the also very popular moon boots would probably be a good addition to this ensemble, but 
it's too expensive for what is probably a micro trend. I'm gonna stick to just my good old platforms. On second thoughts, I could be wrong. So I switched out the boob tube to white. I think it makes the graphic pop a little bit better. Um, in contrast, I have switched the white shoes to black. And then of course, had to do space buns. It felt very fitting and of course, my little inflatable backpack. I do also want to try out this gray skirt as well. Um, it might be a little bit too color blocking for my own personal taste, but I feel like this sort of style is more so like intermediate rather than beginner when it comes to this particular trend. Now this is just like one long wrap skirt, which I love because it means we have two options here. We can either do it all the way up, or if I button this first part off, then I can use it as a half skirt, which I guess doesn't make a huge difference, but I think just having that slight peak of black all the way through kind of helps elongate the leg and also just blend everything a little bit better. Yeah, this is the winner for me. As you know, I'm a lover of plaid and earlier this year, um, like probably in January, I thrifted this longer plaid skirt kind of giving kilt vibes and it wasn't until about a week ago I realized this is actually a trend at the moment. So thankfully we can include her today. I'm not really sure quite what I want to do with her so I think um, we'll just start off pretty simple and build from there. I'm talking as simple as just white long sleeve with a leather jacket. Maybe we'll do like a socks in Mary Jane's sort of situation. Okay, but that was kind of too easy, wasn't it? Because this is already such a cute fit. Definitely gonna be in my rotation for the autumn winter season. If you're gonna keep things pretty simple, I think it's cool to try and add a bit of contrast with the bag. I went with this like denim patchwork, but a cheetah leopard print moment would be amazing as well. Oh, you could also do a cute hat. I wasn't even thinking of that because I already had the space buns done, but I just thrifted this little red cap. I don't even know what they're called. They're like the old gentleman sort of hat. Um, I wonder if I can still wear it with my hair like this or it's I think it looks a bit strange, doesn't it? Maybe backwards. Mm, potentially an acquired taste. I'm gonna try switching it up just a little bit to give us another option. I feel like there's potential. Um, definitely need to change out the shoes. Okay, I've been trying to decide for like five minutes between shoes. Um, we've got either the chunky black boots, a little bit more casual, or then the heeled red boots. I really like the idea of red, but I think these feel a little bit too formal for the look. Like maybe if they were cowboy boots instead, that would be cool. But today my heart is telling me to go with the black boots. Instead of the denim bag, I wanted to try this denim jacket instead. I don't think I like it. It's kind of swallowing up too much of the outfit. I was just looking up inspo and I saw Bella Hadid wore hers with this little like micro mini styled over the top so i'm gonna try that out i like that i'm still not sold on the vest though i think it is too much cream i've changed the top i like it i'm gonna have to change shoes again though what do we think i've tried to channel a little bit of vivian westwood inspo and just dress it up a bit more than the previous attempt i think i like it it's one of those ones where when i'm editing i might completely change my mind but for now i'm happy enough to finally retire the kilt for today I've got my crisp white button up on because it is time to try styling a tie. Not really try because this is something that's already been in my wardrobe rotation for a while, but I do have some new additions, including this gorgeous pink and purple pastel moment, which I'm obviously feeling today. So I wanted to try and go kind of like semi-formal suit situation and I have these gorgeous lilac pants. I just tucked one side of the shirt into my bra so it was a little bit less frumpy but we'll see how it works once we choose our third slash outerwear piece. I've got a few options here. We could introduce another complimentary pastel, something a little bit more classic with this grey. Um, I don't know how I feel. It is all very like oversized as though you're dressing up in someone else's wardrobe which i know is definitely very trendy recently with the like is it juff drop that's very like capsule wardrobe-esque but mm, i don't know if it's giving on me personally immediately no this one i think i like the most but it's probably just me in my comfort zone again but you know what that's not always a bad thing that means you're more confident and you will wear the clothes better but what shoes would one wear I wonder. I ended up going for these white creepers. It kind of felt like clown shoes though, so I thought I'd throw 
the blazer on and now I think we're kind of moving into like k-pop boy group territory perhaps for your consideration without the blazer but I've added these cute little hair clips is that doing anything for us it just didn't feel right to end on something that didn't feel very me and I think this is a great example of how you can kind of take trends and bend them to fit your own personal style because this is a lot more cutesy than how I typically see this trend done but it still works at least in my brain it does So yeah, those are all the trends I wanted to try with you today. Let me know which ones were hot, which ones were not. And if there are any other trends you guys are loving and hating at the moment that you might want to see me feature in a part two, let me know because I quite enjoyed this style of video where you guys kind of go through the process with me. So hopefully you enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you next time or over on my TikTok, Instagram. Everything is just at Steal the Spotlight. Thanks guys. Bye.